everyone, Pegasus Angel here, and welcome back to Daganropa V3 again, finally. I am so sorry that we didn't get to do this yesterday, but I was exhausted, and things have just been kind of crazy as of late, so whenever I can take a break, I take a little bit of a break, because I tend to go to the totally opposite thing where I'm spending, like, all my time doing stuff instead of actually taking a break. So... We are going to be playing some V3 today. Um, I'm going to let people know on the Discord I am live. I put Monophony in the thumbnail because Monophony is my favorite. She's my favorite one. How are you, Splishy? Hello, Daniel. How are you guys? Welcome to the stream. Let's see here. Get this off. Hey, Rue, my mom called me to bed, but I don't listen because I wasn't tired. But now you're streaming. I'm glad I stayed up. Yes, I am going to be streaming Daganrompa V3 today, or some of it. I'm only probably going to be going for about two hours, because I'm still pretty tired from Christmas tree shopping today. Which, if you guys haven't seen that Vlogmas, you should definitely check it out. Because it reminds me of back in the day when YouTube content didn't have to be so amazingly great. <laughs> You'll do the same thing, maybe. Someday I'm going to try and get my member back. I hope you do someday, but don't, like, don't force it yet. Don't force it yet. Alright, so last week we went through the whole prologue. To this week, I'm going to tell you. Or last time we went through the whole prologue. I'm going to tell you right now. There's no way we're getting through all of chapter one tonight. That would take about eight or nine hours. So chapter one is going to be split up a bit. Might get it for Christmas. That'd be cool. So here we go. Yes. Do my thing. All right, continue. I've got chapter select here, and continue. Twenty-five days until the next month. Ooh, yep. Yeah. All right. So it may show us the whole cutscene again, where it's got like the stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see how much my heart's gonna be broken today. After Monokuma and the Mono Cubs left. You might become a bit YouTube famous. That'd be cool. An alarm suddenly rang for my monopad. Think you're the longest member? Not just from mine. The alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. That is not cool. <laughs> Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in the class trial, which is normal rules. If the Blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the Blacken is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game in class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. What? That's new! Okay. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off-limits at night. Violence toward Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. I love how he's got us as chess pieces. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Oh, good luck, Izuku. Hello, Fire Dragon! Oh my gosh. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. Hello, Nicholas! I hope you guys are doing well. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. Nothing much. I'm just playing some Daganrompa B V3. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the Exosols. Wow. Wow. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. You gotta be kidding me. No, they're not. I will never. Uh. I will never.
never participate in a killing game. No one wants to. Oh, you finally got Genshin Impact? How are you liking it? Really far, huh? Yeah, that happens. That happens a lot. The quarantine has made a lot of things hard to do. Chapter 1. My class trial. Our class trial. Okay. <laughs> yes, the graphics are awesome. Oh gosh, I can't remember the voices I gave these guys. The ultimate academy for gifted juvenile school regulations. So these are the rules. Yes, I have been having fun so far. Oh. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! I killed it. Oh no! Listen. Please, lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah! Hey, hey! What does this sixth regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. It means to only two surviving students will be alive. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? I'm sorry, Zuku. That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people? I see, I see! Yeah, haha, I see, I see. You're so smart, Shuichi. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations. Don't screw around! Tell with all that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? And all my characters are easily already at their max level. Dang! Nice job, Haru. Haru. I need to get back into, uh, I need to play Genshin Impact again next week. Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Whoa! Hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the Exocells will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Yeah, I know. Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Hey, who you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Alright, see you later, Fire Dragon. Have a good night. Oh, jeez. Hey, quit fighting already. The Oculus and this great chest. Whoa. Whoa, what the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Just waking up a few minutes ago. Hello, spirit. Welcome. Yeah, I can go. I can call you silver. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. Right? Yeah. I could get behind some bolognese, and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. Right? I agree with Kaede, too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. So bad that I can't remember the voices that I gave these guys. Oh, well, I remember hers, because hers was one that I liked. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm, like me. Wow, you're shaking so much. Really? Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. Oh my gosh, Miyu, shut up. Hey. Okay. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But... But... We looked all over that wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now, wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall... Then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? Uh, oh, uh, good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Hmm. The imposter is Gundam Tanaka. 
How are you, big fat rat? Welcome to the stream. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Oh, right. So let's show them that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're gonna work together, okay? Um. Why are you quiet? D did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case. That's a bit mean, Izuku. Big Fat Rat's one of my favorites. You made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. I know you're joking. I know you're joking, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna post that because somebody might take it badly. Period. Okay, so we've been rendered speechless. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Favorites is fuck. I love all of the people that are in my community. I really do. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't get up so easily. Come on! Come on! Let's split up and try to find the exit. Oh. Ooh, Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey! Oh, wait. Hmm? Yeah? What is it? We were just about to get started. Um. Um. Maybe it not matter much, but. Gotta find manhole earlier. Or got to find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Huh? A, a manhole? Mm. Gone to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. But... Sorry. It's probably not so simple. Hello, Zemor! Ah! You, you gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. <laughs> Gone to peek in. See big underground... Gone to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. Uh, no. Wait. Not like that. You're talking too fast. Watching yo! Watching a yo! I'll tell you how I'm going to become a bit YouTube. Yeah, you gotta tell me that. I like Gonta, he's cute. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Speedrun talking, pretty much. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Wow, impressive. Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. No, I've not played this game yet. Oh, cool! Nice, Haru! We haven't gotten to murder yet, Glitchy. No, I'm not speedrunning my first game. They were talking about Gunta's fast talking. Because I want to leave, I because I dislike the topic. I understand that. Aww. Well, looks up to me. Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the all. The heart is all. I can't explain that emoji because it didn't even show- it doesn't show me anything but that. Like, it's like a square. That's it. So unsure. So, it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. He just got real creepy real fast! Huh? What? That means... I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. Hello, Simply LD's world! They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. I'm sure. They're going to come for you, Kaide, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You are just so straightforward. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Uh, perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. No. I'm glad you love my channel. Thank you. 
It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah, Ron Taro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? He does- he did act a lot like Nagito there for a minute. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. Ah, oh, you're right. Uh, um... Probably shouldn't waste our time thinking about things like that. My day's been good. One of my- my outfits in Ninjala. Yes, hello, Stella! Oh, right! Yeah, let's catch up with the others. Would you like to leave? Yes. I mean a academy-like uniform. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. Behind the school. Oh. He is, but he's so cute. I like him. I don't even know how you get to behind the school. Like, how do I get out of here? End of hallway. Yes, we get a tree every year on the first Saturday of the month. And I was really glad to share what we do. I'm bored in the house. I was really glad to share what we do. Hey, it's a Monokuma. What is that? Obtained hidden Monokuma. Wait, what? Achievement unlocked. Hidden challenge? So they have hidden Monokumas in this one, too? Oh, that's cool! So bored because I'm in a house watching a YouTuber stream a game. So I found a hidden Monokuma. Now I just gotta find my way outside. Wonder if it's like, uh... Ultra Despair Girl... Not Ultra Despair Girls. Um, Goodbye Despair. Where Monokumas are... There's so many Monokumas a chapter or something. Wait, wait, what's up there? Now I'm looking for hidden Monokumas! <laughs> and trying to find some things. I can't remember how to get out of here. That's stairs. I want out. East. South. There we go. Found the entrance door. I don't know if I can get behind the school. Monokim isn't his own character, but only a fraction of Junko's being. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Let's see here. Um, what are you doing, man? Why are they out here? What the heck? He said behind the school. He said behind the school. But this is the dorms. So do I need to find an exit? Or did I miss behind the school? Oh, wait. Maybe it's over here somewhere. Ah, uh, That's like a gravestone. Who it is, Monokin. Uh, there's the manhole. I feel totally lost. I feel totally lost right now. Trying to find where everybody is. Backyard. Okay, boiler room. Okay, I guess I found them. I found everybody! Then. Okay. Looks like we're all here. So, where's this manhole? Um, um over there. In grass. I want to talk to everybody first. <laughs> Whoa, look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, Keyboy? Please stop. Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But... But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? Well, of course. I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. Huh? As well as any person? 
but you're not a person. That's robophobic. That's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. <laughs> Kokichi's hair looks so greasy. I love Kokichi. I think he's adorable. Mm -hmm. Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there are creepy creatures down there? <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Golly. Even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic. It's impossible. That's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Ooh, your magic is so powerful! I'll protect you! Well then, though I may be unworthy, I will protect you, Himiko! Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it to you. What do you gotta say about this, Shuichi? You're gonna um. be one of those Kokiki. I, I like him right now. He's super cute. So, there's even grass out here? Uh, be careful of the roots, everybody. Sumugi. Wait. We need to be we need to be careful or those monsters might appear again. You're right. I'm about to just look up violet grass spawn locations. Yeah. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magical powder to cheer you up? No. It's not a dangerous kind of powder, is it? Or right, just please don't get close to them. Trust me, I'm not gonna get close to them. I am my own independent person. No matter if I fangirl over a character or not, wow. I'm not gonna be part of the community. Wow, it's like super secret entrance. I'm so excited. Sumigi, so I know I like, I love Sumigi. And I don't like Angie as much. Atua is just as excited as I am. I know because he told me. Uh, I definitely don't like Miyu. Fucking slugs! Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch! <laughs> Hurry up already! Chop chop! Rude! What's wrong? Now's not the time to be shouting and celebrating. Even if this really is the exit, it's all over if Monokuma That's catches right. us. I agree. We need to be quick about this. That's the game being like, stop being an explorer! Just had to fix your update with Roblox. Okay, dumb tub. Angie's underrated. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's awesome that it has that many views. Why? What's wrong? Manholing grass over there. Where? What grass? Where? There? I don't see a manhole. Ooh, I can... Oh, is this it? Is there a way to see, like... It didn't give me a way to see if there's any... Anything that I can click on. Oh, there it is. Manhole! It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? That's disgusting. Whoa. Oh, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he... Mm -hmm. Grrr. Grrr. He needs to eat an apple. My apologies. How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? I agree. Miu is nasty. Huh? A robot's not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. Piece of shit! That's fucking pathetic. <sighs> the professor did not want the repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Uh, um, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Allow Gonta. Oh, then, allow Gonta. Gunto lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Whoops. Gunto placed his hands on the manhole cover and. What? Upsy daisy. With his 
finger and thumb? That's it? Holy cow, that's a strong man. So easily? Okay, sorry guys. Had to I had to meet my mic for a second. Sound destroying me before we get to know her character and her backstory sounds about right. Yes. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko. Are we sure it's her magic? What should Gonta do with cover now? Uh, I don't know, Gunta. Do something with it. I forgot to give you that. You were asleep when we ate it. Oh, that looks good. I'll eat some of that. Ooh, it's like a trail mix. Himiko do Himiko dork. <laughs> Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Oh boy. Kurumi, what are you thinking? Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. That makes sense. It is rude to litter. But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. That's a lot. Hehehe, <laughs> what wonderful strength. You could likely crush a quiet child's skull with ease. Gonta never do that! How ungentlemanly. Gunta never do that. Um Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But But Gunta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. People who just stand in there like, yep. <laughs> hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. Is it a sewage? Actually, but this place is kind of creepy. We're really going in here? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. I'll protect you. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then, going to protect menfolk. That's true. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Mono Cubs? I see, yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. Meow ha ha! They probably haven't noticed yet. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I see. I don't like Kaito, he seems too narcissistic. Then, let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. Yes, I like Sumigi, I like Kokichi, and I like Him Himiko. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. And I like Gunta. But I can only, like, do two... I can only date one at a time if I want to fill out the report cards. Once we all had climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Hello, Izuku! Nice. Uh... Everyone likes Gunta. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yoo-hoo! Yodelay-hee-hoo! What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suppose. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left of them? Hey. I don't like Gunta. I don't know why, but it's probably because I'm... <laughs> yeah, that could be why. That could be why. I gotcha. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um... Considerate? You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> well, don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. <laughs> I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's a male unless they are nice and funny. I gotcha. That's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No need to worry. 
Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Your smile is trash, though. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kayude. Give me a hug. No, I don't even know you. Why would I hug you? No. Um, no. Oh, I love how she's smiling. Ugh, degenerate males. Typical degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. Let's see. Everybody likes Angie. Kazatua says so. You are so amazingly strong, Gunter. I want a piggyback ride. Yes. She like Gunta Sumigi. Himiko Kokichi. Yep. <laughs> You're too weak, Kibo. Let me remodel you and I'll make you the strongest robot ever. That being said. Oh wow. First, I'll soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one, just how I like it. Ha ha ha! Miu is uh. I do not like Miu. No. 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 Um. We're going to escape from the underground passage? We should be careful of dangerous creatures. Does everyone have their protect gear? Hey now. Just kidding. It was just a joke. Queen, in your opinion. No. Besides, something worse might show up. Hey! So it was exit. Gunta glad he tell everyone. Come on, everyone. Gunta protect you. I don't know. This seems a little too easy. Uh, okay. Uh, if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. How should I put this? Well, we gotta keep trying. Nothing's gonna change if we don't try. You like Tojo? Miu is felt in your opinion. Yoo-hoo! Yodele, hee-hoo! Right? Ooh, it echoes well. Must be pretty big then. Hey, hey! A giant underground passage is so exciting. I want to play hide-and-seek in here. Um. Hide-and-seek? Hee-hee-hee. <laughs> <laughs> I am the master of hide-and-seek. You got me. As the supreme leader of an evil organization, I'm always on the run from the law. And over time, I just became a total pro at hiding. It's a lie. Just kidding. That was a lie. I see. Yeah, I, I thought so. Piece of cake! Don't worry, if something happens, I'll protect you. then I'll protect the girls by using all the degenerate males as human shields. What a clown, yeah. What's the matter? What up? You want to give me that hug after all? No. No, not really. <laughs> hey, you don't gotta hold back. We're two of a kind, you know. Hey! Hey, you two quit flirting. Can't you read the air? Don't screw around. We're not flirting. Well... You guys are annoying. Piece of cake! I already read this one. Because if we're going, let's hurry up already. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. They're not gonna appear. This can't be right. This isn't right. In any event. I'm a little bit worried for you, and you probably won't understand because of reasons I don't really want to tell. <laughs> you won't die in this game, so I'll be okay. When Kokichi yodeled earlier. His echoes reminded me of the tales told in mountain villages. They believe that voices echoing off the mountains are replies from Yamabiku, the, Yamabiko, the spirit. Oh. Ah, this may take too long. I shall save the rest for after we have safely escaped. Himiko! <laughs> it's dark here. If we're gonna keep going, we need a light. 
then shouldn't you use magic to light it up? You know, like Lumos or something? Harry Potter reference. It'll be okay. We should be fine without a light. Magic power is precious. I need to save it for when we really need it. I see. Uh, um, okay. Hmm. It's quite dusty in here. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air may be detrimental to one's health. Huh? What? Polluted air bothers you? But you don't even breathe air right. That's... Well, well that is... While it's true that I do not breathe, I also do not like polluted air any more than you do. Okay. I see you have a function for sensing poisonous gases. Well then, lead the way. It's robophobic. No, I don't have that function. Do I look like a canary to you? Uh... What? You don't? Then you're even more useless than a canary. Herg. <sighs> I love Kokichi. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Even if this is a trap, all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'll be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. Yes, robophobic. That is troubling. An underground passage that has not been in use for some time. Must be quite dangerous. But if everyone wishes to proceed, then I will do my best to support that decision. Rioma is hot. <laughs> No, I'm- I really like- I know that Kokichi is like everybody's favorite character in this game. There's our exit. I'm knocking over the buckets that say poison on them. That's a smart idea. Anyone here that's played the whole Danganronpa 3 before would feel the much pain I'm feeling is right now. I don't know. You're feeling pain? What for? It's a monitor for communicating with us, but there's nothing displayed right now. Why is there a monitor down here? That's- that- something's not right. There shouldn't be a monitor down here. Just like the other games. Yep. The sign says exit and everything. What a cruel joke. Well, I thought we were going to go in there. Here we go. Uh, okay. This isn't the time for talking. Let's hurry and keep going. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. Passage entrance. There we go. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this will all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press the LS and directional buttons to move, and press the B button to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and control will switch to one of the remaining students. Well. If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. Even the game says it does, it's not going to matter. How are you supposed to... What is this? Oh, we have to push it open. <gasps> ah! Fine. I'll try. Huh? Wait, I can't even... I can't even... Finally! Let's go. Bye. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sorry, everyone. Damn it! Oh my gosh! What the heck is happening? Leave it to me, everyone. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my word! What's this? Oh, I don't like this. Let's go. No! I feel good. So this. Let's have fun with this. Hello, you. Hello, you. Ah, you're the last one. I am so bad. Can I play again? That is the hardest game I've ever seen. It really wasn't hard. It's just that I had to time my jumps well. I was totally wrecked. Dang. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, uh what? Better controls. Yeah. As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Oh! Are you feeling alright? You're awake? Are you alright? Uh... Imagine someone beat it with everyone alive. I'm sure you can. Uh, I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Jeez, this is quite the pity party, you sad sex are throwing yourselves. Because, because you're the protagonist, that's why. Can we play it again? Huh? Monokuma? Oh gosh. <laughs> Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things, I feel sorry for you. Aww. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Hey! I bet Monodam is feeling lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Dot, dot, dot. Hey! Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? It'll liven things up a little, you know? So you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Huh? Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um. Yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? Just use the entrance to go back up. I guess. That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just a trap. You're the worst! Then there was no exit. You tricked us. Don't worry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> and if you first step first, you don't succeed. Shing. Try, try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. Ah! So, long, farewell. so I can play this anytime I want to. Yeah. So we can escape if we work hard enough. Fucking moron! No way, you little moron! They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage, so we learned that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home. Corner us mentally. Actually, that's just rotten. You might be right, but... Yeah, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know? We can't give up this early, right? Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I'll get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. Is it going to make me play it again? How many times is it going to make me play this? Don't answer that. That was a rhetorical question. Hello, Pinocchio! I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us. You're right. Kaide. Mm -hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. 
And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world... All right. Why don't we all stay friends? Um... But friends? Yeah. Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we'll all be the best of friends. The more you ask, yeah, I'm sure. All right. I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> that might not be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Mm. Then we've all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. <laughs> my body is ready. You can tell by how out of control my pit sweat is. That is disgusting. I'm glad. But everyone... But... Isn't it premature to say what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? Disgusting momento. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in potent detecting technology, I... It's not every other day you get to meet Ultimate. Ah, that pain. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show them what we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. Yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure we will be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. Don't spit any facts that's going to spoil things. With our bond stronger than ever, we stopped into the tunnel once more. I don't... I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Are these coins? They're, everyone beat they're bombs. Is. Is on this my is side. for me. Go. Oh my gosh! Can do it. I have told you to be facts. Nope, I died. Do it. Nope. Leave it to me. I do it. This is ridiculous. Like, what's even the point of this? I don't like this. Come on, come on! Oh my gosh! Oh my! I am a failure. As a man. I guess I'm still. Oh my god. Miscalculated. Oh my word. When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? What the? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Of course. This will be a piece of cake. <sighs> going to gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen never give up. Uh, this time? This time we'll reach the exit. No, we're not. This time. Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again, but... It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time, over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. <laughs> Failed. Again. Damn. Damn it. Seems like... I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait. We can't give up. This time we'll... Well, you know. Knock it off already. Ooh. Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. 
You won't let us give up. And no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong arming us. That's wrong. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Hey, degenerate. Quit being so selfish. Please don't. I I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? Everyone? My spirit is nearly broken. Wow. This hardship gnaws at me. Explodes. Nope. <laughs> Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. But we don't wanna. Yeah. I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this was impossible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. Wow. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Are you serious? We were seriously injured several times. We just get to live again. Wait! P please wait. We, no, can't give up. Hey, guys! You guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? No. We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Ooh! I'm loving Kokichi now! Look at that look! Oh! His whole kid thing had to be an act. Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Ah. Ah, so you're going to interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! Stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. Jeez. The bed has a heater right next to it. Nice. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um... No, Kaede. Dumbass. I idiot. What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all. Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? Uh-huh. Why? Oh. Can't try no more. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bye time! Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bye! Please be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Right now. Bedtime or sign! Sweet dreams! Well, time to go. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> and we're gonna rest there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But... But... It makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure. I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes, we should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. <sighs> and I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you. If you don't mind, that is, just let me know. Hey guys, just as a warning, I should have put this. we shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. You mean? Because of killing game, you mean. 
You're even more scared of Monokuma. Please wait. I, I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Mm -hmm. I know, I, I know. Just a warning. I mean... Hey, why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um, well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's life at risk, the unity is gone now. Seriously? Come on! Shut up! That's just a stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... I went back to the stream and watched it. Oh, I'm glad you watched it. It was interesting. And I'm doing good, Jevil. How have you been? <sighs> well, anyway, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Kaito. Uh, um... Um, Kaede... I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us. At least, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Chuichi. Yes, it is Danganronpa V3. How are you, Junior the Octoling? <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. Right. right. Well, see you tomorrow. Here we go to the dormitory. Gunt is here. Why are you here? What's the matter? What's wrong, Gunta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Gunta, worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real bad? Let's go to gentlemen. Go to gentlemen. Gentlemen no can ignore that. I tried to beat the road to despair twice. But Kurumi tell Gonta leave cover off. Mm. Gonta not know what to do. Um. Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about You're it. Right. Okay, you right. Maybe Gonta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaide. Want to go back to room now. I made it to a place where cages and bombs started falling on my head. So I don't know how far that was, but it that was the place I died. Suddenly pineapples. Good night. Yeah. Yep. Good night. Gunta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Did I like the fire? I figured out had cages falling on my head. I managed to jump from the I managed to get away from the first two cages and then I ended up getting a hit and then I started getting caught in the leather cages. All right. Yummy ice cream. Yes, let's leave. Oh my goodness. I don't know how far you can get in that. I'm assuming there's a way to beat it and that you get like a hidden achievement for it. Knowing Danganronpa. Look at the pretty stars in the sky. Alright, let's get back to the dorms. I like how Gunta talks in first person. Yes, Gunta's a cute little bean. He's a cute bean. You also get a theme for your monopad if you do beat it. Nice. I'll have to figure out- I'll have to play it a couple times to beat it, I'm sure. Why- I'm right on her, why isn't it- Are you feeling alright? Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to threat over it. This is a dining hall. I need the dormitories. This looks odd. Hello, 
Damien! These dormitories are like so out. Gunta is stick talking in third person. Help Gunta, help Gunta. Yeah, he's always talking in third person. Well, where's my room? Okay, so this is boys, and over here is girls. There it is. So, this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. It looks kind of nice. Huh? A key? Is it the key to the trial tonight? If anything, it's probably going to be a couple streams before we get to the class trial. Bingo! Bingo! You got it right! Nice work! That is, in fact, the key to this room! You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here, but you should still lock your door when you leave. Yeah! Alright, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into the room and kill them easily. That's wrong! Shut up! I don't want to hear that! <laughs> I just got chewed out! Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. Got a telephone. There you go! Just destroy this room. What's this? Huh? Is this a closet? Oh, I'm glad you liked the Vlogmas. I guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. Huh? Huh? What is this? Inside there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Did they prepare all these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? Yeah, I knew Kuma meant bear in Japanese. I didn't know how well it would be received because it's not something I normally do. And then I worried. Okay, I guess I can't kill I can't kill the bed. I worried about a bunch of stuff. Like how others would perceive it. Or if others would actually like it. So I'm glad to hear you guys have liked it a lot. Sigh, I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe p playing piano was easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. No, I've never played the demo. Your hamburger nearly just died. Oof. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. New students of the Ultimate Academy! Congratulations! Oh my gosh. The weeds here have grown thick with joy as of celebrating your entrance into the school! Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy! If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. And let's do lots of killing, too. The fact that he's dressed up like that is creepy. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. I mean, I could always probably... I think the demo is still available. I could probably play it just to get the monotad theme. Rise and shine or sign. Sorry, Damien. I said hi. It's all good. Why are there characters hanging... In the back? I'm gonna try to name every Daganrop V3 character in just five words. Rise and shine, Ursa! This is an announcement! Yum yum! 
This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m., bitches. Time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it! Stop! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Have fun! Enjoy your killing school semester! Patty Day, best girl of the piano. <sighs> it was all some terrible dream. Huh, wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke. I don't have the time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Be careful about what you say, though. Try not to say anything that might spoil something. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Okay, here we go. Hydro Blades is very useful. Dining Hall, here we come. Go down. Here we go. I don't like Miyu. I like Kokichi. I love Kokichi. He's adorable. Dormitory. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're doing uh, construction on stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go. This is... Not the dining hall. Kiki seems meh. You like me? I don't like her. But I've never been one that likes those kind of jokes. Come on, where's the dining hall at? Seriously? I get so lost. Let's see. Where is our dining hall? It's not over here, is it? That's the dormitories, so I guess... That's a school building. To be honest, Barbara is a good healer for you. Alright, there's Shuichi. Hey, friend. Shuichi? Morning, Shuichi! Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm... I was just on my way there. Um... Hey! Kaede? What's the matter? Yeah? No. Uh, it's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. I wonder what's up with Shuichi. He seems preoccupied with something. Well, I can ask him later. I need to go. I don't even know where the dining hall is. That's how good I am at this game. Pull up my map here. Review of ever personal belongings. Alright, entrance hall is where I am. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go to the entrance hall. And we're all still nice. You remember someone being mean and we're all still nice? I don't remember anybody being mean. There's classroom. Where is the dining hall? I feel like a dork. Come on, where am I? Can I not, like... I thought I could fast travel. That's the only place I can fast travel. Okay, dining hall. Let me go here.
There we go. Alright. Alright, cool. Okay, down the dining hall, finally. I thought no one was here yet. I was freaking out. Oh, everyone's here already. So then... Now, all of us have arrived. Wait. By the way, are you okay, Kaide? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? See? Well, you looked really bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Wait. Uh, hey, what are you doing all the... That's so mean. Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. She tried her best to encourage everyone, and you sore losers got mad at her anyway. That's enough. What's the point of bringing that up again? Hey, degenerate male! Actually, didn't you blame Kaide first? Uh, now it's my fault? Why are you guys ganging up on me? Wait! <laughs> you guys are terrible! So horrible! So mean! <laughs> You're too noisy. Cut it out. Jeez. But it's true. Everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility themselves. Oh, no. Hey, come on now. Everyone was probably just tired. Shut, up! Shut it! That's no excuse! That's wrong! No, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. I... It's just... I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. I see. All right, well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. Thank goodness. Phew! Cool beans. Now everything's settled. Hey! But you did blame her first, didn't you? It's a lie. Well, that was a lie, you know. One of those lies to make us more united or whatever. <laughs> did you know half my lies are actually told with good intentions? What are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Um, let's just forget about it and discuss something else. Right? Okay, let's all think about ways to get out of here. <laughs> Before you do that, I have an announcement! Stop it! Hey, don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to surprise you. I didn't mean to not surprise you. I knew it. So, you did mean to surprise us. What's wrong? Well, your announcement? Well, now. It's not terribly important, but... It's easier to stay alive by being an obvious goody two-shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. <laughs> so I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you motivation to kill. What? Motivation to kill? I'll answer that. In short, a motive. That ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they could whip you up a sob story to deceive everyone. Incomprehensible. What are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. Now then. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Now then, the special motive I prepared is called the first blood perk. What is the first blood perk? Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. Can you believe it? What? That means the first What? What are you talking about? No class trial will be held? Let me explain. I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial at all. Psycho! Please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free. Really? Huh? That's all? You just gotta kill someone to get out of here? Hello, swag. Welcome. Come on, show. There it went. Don't. That's all. What's that supposed to mean? Please, just calm down. You gotta be kidding me! First blood perk? Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? <laughs> There's no way I'm happy. Stop it. 
to stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? Mm? No, that's wrong. Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? That's wrong. In your dreams. We're not going to lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how you plan to survive. You just got to kill someone, right? Always messing around. Why, you bastard. How should I put this? I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? Huh? What's that? That's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets. So in short. It's an incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all of our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. Sure. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that takes tanks Kaidi's plan to get us to cooperate. Huh? What? Uh, um... And if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we'd cooperate. How terrifying. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. To tell you the truth... Okay. Right? I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better just to kill! Uh, what? You... Please wait. It seems you are quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. I've had enough. Kaido runs toward Monokuma to grab him, but... Sign. Thank goodness. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a volunteer! My heart's racing! Finally, it's time for the Exosols! I'll do it! We won't let you lay a hand on Daddy. We want Daddy to smile every day. And that's that. You bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What? What? What are you guys planning to do? Please stop! Please, don't! Kaito! Run, Kaito! At that moment, we heard menacing mechanical noises. The Exosols charged. The sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the dining hall. And then a final gasp. Huh? What? What? Monokuma's dead now? Father! F father? Ah! Wah! Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal. It's Monodam's fault! This is Monodam's fault somehow! Dot, dot, dot. Um... W what is this? What's going on? Jeez. I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's in pieces. Okay. Serves him right. He got just what he deserved. I do not agree. Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. Stop it! Th there is no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. Hello, Kaide. How are you? Welcome. I'm only in Chapter 1. I'm playing this totally blind. Huh? What? <laughs> When father was still alive, he used to tell us cubs that we must cherish life because we're like snowflakes, unique in every way. Well, if only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma is dead? Aww. Poor daddy. Let's at least bury him with full honors. Aww. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. In that case. While we're at it, we should toss in some carrots and potatoes, too. Ah. Ooh, maybe add some leftover curry, too. You know, the sweet kind. My favorite. Oh. You'll want an extra large side of rice, too, right? That's right. Now that we're now that we're the new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. So long, farewell! Oh, Monokuma's dead. Um, uh, um what's going on? Anyway. Hmm... Everything's a complete mess now. But if there's no final boss, <laughs> then that means this killing game is canceled. Huh? huh? 
cancelled? Oh, no. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. Ah, don't be such a worrywart. Everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, continuing this game is pretty much impossible. So that means... Which means we win. <laughs> Yay, we did it. <laughs> well... So, we're not in danger anymore? <gasps> oh, so do we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or... That's wrong. Well, wait a minute. We don't know that yet. <laughs> Kaede, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed about what you did yesterday. Huh? But, but I didn't mean it like that. Well. Or is there still something you would have us do, Kaede? Trashy skank. Don't tell me you want to take on that underground passage again. All right already. Quiet. We know it's impossible. Sorry. S sorry. Okay. Whatevs. Looks like we're done here. Phew, what a relief. After Kokichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room. Kaede Akamatsu's room. <sighs> I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh, huh? Why? At that moment, the intercom in my room rang. It's piano. Where's the intercom? Where's my intercom? Um. The intercom? Is someone at the door? It's a lie. Kokichi, I hate to tell you, but you still have Kaede's uh, profile pic. I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. Are you okay? Kaede, are you alright? Yeah. Oh! Shuichi! Um, what do you mean? I'm not sad, if that's what you're wondering. I'm... Kaede, it's not your fault. Huh? Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right, but... I know that, but... I just wanted to escape with everyone! You know? But it's all right now. Everything is over, right? Um. Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? What? You believe in me? Is that all right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gotten into Shuichi all of a sudden? Oh, you get to the library from here. Oh my gosh. Where's the library at? Um, so, what do you want to talk about? Is that alright? I want to talk in the library. Could you come with me, please? Where is the library? Shrine of Judgment. Front entrance. Plaza. Come on. There we go. Nope. Still Kaide. What are you up to? Got it. See? It's just like I said. Um. Huh? What's well, just like you said? Keep your chin up. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Oh, yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh. Huh? What do you mean? It's thanks to me we defeated Monokuma, right? All right. I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat is gone now. Uh, um... Uh, Kaito, to be honest, what you did was really... That bear got the cosmic justice he deserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never give up. I see. Uh, um, I guess? Leave it to me. Anyway. Hello, a music-loving anime girl, which I know is Damien. Anyway, Monokuma's gone now, thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Okay. Come in here. Come in here and do things. 
find the library. Oh, wow, there's lots of people in here, too. I'm glad you did, Kaede. I'm gonna go a bit. I need some rest. Ah, oh, no worries, no worries. You can always watch the replay later. Have a good rest of the night, Haru. Tinko, what are you doing? Sneak attack! I was hoping I could learn more about magic from Himiko. I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Akido. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually do? What a pain. I told you. I get tired talking about it. I'll protect you! Then I'll message you back so you won't get your back. I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. Oh yeah! I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Gross. Stop it. That's weird. Just us having to go to the library with Shuichi. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Save me from this conversation. What's wrong? What's the matter, Himiko? We're not done talking yet, are we? See my map here. Got change tab. The library's in the basement, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, library was in the basement. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Let's go. Sometimes you worry about Himiko. Himiko? Understandable. Here we go. Library. Library! Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old, musty books. Uh, um... Okay. Before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this secret. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Shuichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain in exacting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Uh. Oh, that one. Huh, you're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. What? What? Oh! And moved the bookcase. Whoa, it moved? It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. Holy cow. A door? Black and white door. That's a Monokuma door. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's... I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Huh? You can't? Is that all right? But the very fact that this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There is a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Hey. It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the Monokubs or the Exosouls protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um, Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions... I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used the store, right? Well. Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But... 
But if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Uh, um... Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah! Then... Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. Don't want to make it obvious that we know about it. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. I'm really liking the graphics. Is that all right? Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Having made our promise, we return to our own rooms. Do we get free time yet? I want free time. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. All the toys are just everywhere. They're every single person. Just one? The other Monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Shuichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. They do have the same feeling as Persona. But Shuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. I want free time! When am I getting free time? Wow! We're already out of material! Like closing time at a sushi restaurant! When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material! My memory's been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well, anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with an $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity! Send your applications today! Yeah, because I'm totally going to spend $1,000 for a $100 gift card. That I can't use anyway because I'm stuck in a school with a killing game. Give me that gift card. You would spend $1,000 just for the gift card? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm eating I'm eating some trail mix. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, get it for free. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. I'm so happy you changed Gmails. Hey, man. Uh, morning, Ryoma. Oh. Uh, we're way past morning by this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play, though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In other words. In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. And not the game. I was like, it's not morning yet, though. Oh, yeah. Inside those prison walls, I live a frightfully, frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's a bitter irony. That's right. Ryoma was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? I wish it was morning. Because <laughs> usually what my dad does for Sunday mornings is he'll make some, some amazing breakfast. And he usually always gives bacon, because I love bacon. Let's see here. 
I'm so confused. I'm still trying to work my way around the school, so it's it's confusing still. Hello, friend. What are you doing? Hey, morning, Tinko. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Good morning. Jeez. What was that all about? Um... Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. But I'm still full of energy, so I'm shouting to burn it off. Uh, I see. By the way... Anyway, exercise makes me hungry, so I'm gonna head to the dining hall. See ya! Nope. There we go. Not fire, fire, but it's really hot. Your foot is on fire. Well, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be putting your foot right on the thing. <sighs> Sigh. Huh? What's wrong? Seems like... Look at this. My nails are all messed up. It probably happened when we came here, and now I can't take good care of them. Um... Your nails? Um... I understand. You're surprised that plain old me cares about my nails, right? No. Well, not really. But when you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've never done it before. I see. Oh, I see. Nails would just plain get in the way when playing piano, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see. As a pianist, you're pretty strict about stuff like this, I guess. Um. You're exaggerating, but yeah, sometimes I gotta hold back on some stuff. Oh. Well, I guess the middle of a killing game isn't the time to be worrying about nails. I want to hurry and go home. Joining hall. Here it be. Yes, you should take your foot off the heater. You're gonna end up burning it. Person disappears. All right. Is everybody here? Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. Right? Man, for a moment I had no idea what was gonna happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> yeah, I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko! Thanks, be to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous I way. See. This Atua seems to act in a secret a lot. Because Atua is watching over us. Because Atua smells of danger. But when someone coming to get us? 100%. I don't know when I'm going to get the first death. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Hmm. Why the long face? Oh, no. Eh, it's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, Thank right? You. What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Hmm. But is this really how this ends? Without thinking, I worded that out loud, and now everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. I like him. I don't like him as much as Kokichi, but I like him. Oh? I wonder... Do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. Fucking bitch! And don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank! Jeez. Hmm. Hey, Kaide. I don't know what you are so worried about, but Monokuma is dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know? It's my turn, Kuma! And that's my cue to appear, Kuma! Huh? What? <laughs> Sounds like me, but add cookies to that, yes. Oh. Monokuma? You? He, he's still alive? It's my turn, yeah. No, no! Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma! This is a cat Monokuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as a yokai. Call me Jibakuma Kuma. What is it? 
Jibakuma? Headmaster Kuma. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? Did I slip up? On your knees. No, duh, you fucking fraud. Go find another car to run you over. And this time, stay dead. That's terrible. Oh, jeez. It's such a low-level cosplay. I can't bear to look. It is a yokai watch reference. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomenon. Man, you guys are buzzkills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. You're really bugging me. This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. Oh boy, here they come. Just don't burn your foot, okay? Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father who thought we thought was dead is actually alive? Hey. No way! Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to resort to the death is cheap trope. The yokai did it. I bet the yokai did it. Yeah. No, that bit's already over. What are you saying? It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> you should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Hello again. Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? Yep. Wow, well, which Papa Kuma is the real one? What are you saying? No, they're both real. Mm -hmm. Huh? But Father, you said there's only one of each of us, that we're unique like snowflakes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys, but I got loads of spares. <laughs> Uh, why do you gotta have? Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Be quiet. Of course you don't get to have spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh? huh? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Ew! Oh no! Ah! Oh. This is an emotional reunion, so y'all gotta take their licks. Oh, this is nasty! Is smothering us. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> no more, no more. Ew! Oh, that was just nasty. That was wrong. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. When I see you guys, I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. It was me. Wait, I'm your parents. Yeah, it's nasty. That was totally gross. You want to post the yokai theme song? I... Sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Uh, continue? The killing game is gonna continue? That TikTok girl. Pain. What a pain. <laughs> That's not the problem, donkey face. <laughs> what do you mean the killing game is gonna continue? <laughs> I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me! No, it's definitely not okay! Is that right? So, that's how it's going to be. If we want to end this... I see. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. And another thing. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? I'm pleased to announce an additional motive. We have another motive? An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. If a 
the murder does not occur by night time two days from now then every student participating in this killing game will die oh my gosh Mold to shreds by countless monokumas from the rumored monokuma making machine oh my word so unless you want to end up as pink smears you might want to take this game seriously pink smears oh my word <laughs> Wow! <gasps> Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? What is this? What? That's not fair! Ouch. Jeez, why'd you guys even come to this school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um. Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Let's do this! Damn right! Let the Exosols do their thing this time! No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... But if we let the Exosols get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? Their merchandising rights alone would make us richer than Sultans. Ah, to be young again! Sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... That's bad! I won't let you kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! Daddy! D daddy you love us so much! Oh, jeez! That's enough! Oh? Oh, you're still here? Of course, we never left! Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see! Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game! <laughs> Ooh, then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You, you? You? You bastard. To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? Ah! You're surrounded by strangers. Neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. For a father in this world like Monokuma would probably never get to see their children. Probably not. Well... Plus, you get the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. How gory! But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And if that don't play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gory. Uh, I see. If it's gratuitous, over-the-top gore, I might be able to stomach that. Uh -huh. Forget the killing game, then. It'd be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back! <laughs> well, what do you guys decide next is all up to you! Do whatever you want! You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own! It's your call! <laughs> Man, father is in the zone! I was getting irritated till he said all that! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return! Yo, Monodam, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. Dot, dot, dot. So long, farewell. Go away. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um, what are we going to do? Nighttime in two days will be here in an instant. Yeah. There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't like that. I... I don't wanna... I... Don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's... Going to die? Is dying the only choice? Cause Atua says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. <laughs> That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. You can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Um. Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Akido moves even involve sneak attacks? Gunta wanna help everyone. Come, everyone. Gunta use body. Keep everyone safe. Aww. Not cool. You're going to go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? <laughs> but, but, we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But... Wait. 
We still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. How terrifying. We've no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. Uh, no matter what? That's wrong. Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Oh. Then you'll accept the blame. Huh? Huh? Because. Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who'll be sad if I die, you know. Um, well... <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Oh. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. The fuck's going on? Uh, alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. Hello again, Damien. Mew? I. I. N not that I try to claim that perk for myself. I I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you, idiots, is exhausting. I'm going to go to my room and rest. Got it? Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. There is no need to worry, is there? No one is going to kill anyone, right? Mm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse. Mm. Hmm, so everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course. I know it to be against the law. The laws are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules. Therefore, we've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. However... Even if it is to survive. We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sin. So you've no need to fear me. You like him? Uh, Kyo! Mm -hmm. The males in the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If we want to stay alive, standing around... Grumbling's not going to change anything. Hello, Cheese! Welcome to the stream! Well? As things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Stop it. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. All right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Your half-ass speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So just come up with a plan for yourself. Rude. Uh... Wait! Maki, wait! Well then... I'm just gonna pray to Atua. Seems like... Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Sigh, or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Uh, but wait, you guys? That's wrong. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. <sighs> everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine, then all of you just do whatever you want. <sighs> This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? Hey, 
I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate hunt? Um, what is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Huh? You're gonna throw that special pillowcase to the fire? Oh my gosh. Excuse me. What do you mean, Rentaro? No, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused is all. Hmm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So, I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. You leaving? Oh my gosh, everybody's leaving. Rintaro? Without looking back, Rintaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. I'm assuming it's a body pillow, too. The one who's controlling him and playing this entire killing game, it's all their fault. It's time for my last resort. Um, Your last resort? It's magic. The magic powder. No. Stop. You shouldn't do that. What are you saying? If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. It's sweet and salty. I know the secret recipe. I see. Uh, oh, I see. You meant that. Maybe... Fight, Monokuma. That only choice we have. Going to work hard for everyone. Sneak attack! Exactly! I will harness the power of Neo Aikido for the sake of all girls! It's no use. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way for us to win in a fight. But... But, but, Gonta no can do anything else. That is troubling. However, it is wise to charge into a... Is it wise to charge into a battle without a strategy? That's right. That's true. I get where Gonta's coming from, but we should calm down and think this through. <sighs> Okay. Um, hey, Shuichi, what should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Shuichi slowly approached me as if weary of his surroundings and said in a hushed voice. Well, that's... This morning, before I came to dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Huh? You mean in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So when he said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, Shuichi. then... Can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh, we're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you want to check on is a secret? Um, Sorry, all I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I believe in you. I see. Well, if that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. <sighs> there we go. Would you like to leave? Yes. Mia's salty because she ate salt. <laughs> Are we heading to the library? I suppose so. Yes, I'll tell you everything there. Here we go. Here we go, go. Library. There it is. I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Shuichi said that, he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Ramble, 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 ramble. 
I peeked into the gap of the card reader. Uh, the dust is gone! I'm... That's right. I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday, and the dust was there. But this morning, it was gone. Um... So that means someone entered the store during nighttime? Could it be... That got me thinking. This may sound far-fetched, but... Perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to the store somehow? Could be. Huh? How so? If I remember correctly... Remember what the Monocub said? Because I just found out my friend quit YouTube. Aw, I'm sorry. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. Um, so there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas. Because... That would explain why we saw Monokuma alive and well in the morning. At nighttime, someone went through the store and activated the machine. And that's then there's what Monokuma just told us. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in the skilling game will die. I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? He went out of his way to specify that students forced to participate will die. Um, huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's... I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he is trying to protect someone, that would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because... I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they are the mastermind of this killing game. Um... So the person who's responsible for all our sufferings is one of us? Uh, okay. Of course. This is just what I've deduced, but it's entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now, they may might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I could only tell you, Kaede. The mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be among us. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey. So, what do you plan to do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm... I'm thinking of taking the risk just before time expires. I believe the Mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? Student, there is one imposter among us, indeed. That's... I am extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Mauled to shred by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine! To produce a large number of Monokumas, the Mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well, Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But... But I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. I see. Yeah! Oh, right! I'll take that risk with you! But... Ah, uh, but Kaede, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course! Yeah, I know, but I made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Shuichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you, too. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea of my own, so obviously I'll help you with yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Let's expose the Mastermind together, Shuichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. Mm. I never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Aww. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. Oh, right. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Uh, okay. Right. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Shuichi and returned to my room. What are we doing in our room? We sleeping? Two days from now, at the stroke of nighttime, that's when the time limit expires. Till then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them.
Free time start. Sweet. We're going to do one free time. Well, at the academy, you will have free time every now and then. During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bond with them. You can also give them a present to strengthen those bonds further. You can buy presents at the school store or win them at the Mono Mono machine. If your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice. But you don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. I mean, I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too. Okay. We're gonna try to find the store again. I need I need to get I need to get presents. Come on. The store was in the school, if I remember right. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it was in the school. We gotta get presents. It's all what free time is about, is giving presents. It's how you get report cards filled out. Can I not quick travel to the school store? I guess not. Alright, well, let's look at our map. Not that one. This one. This map. Okay, let's buy some presents. I don't even know if I have enough mana coins to buy presents, but hey, we're gonna try. Because I want... I want to start getting Kokichi's report card filled out. Go in there. Alright, so we got the Mono Mono Machine. And this. Is the Mono Mono Machine the only thing I can actually use? Oh, I figured I could use that. Okay, I guess I have to use the Mono Mono Machine. I guess that one's not ready yet. Alright. Oh, I have 136. Repeat rate, 0-0%. Zero, zero Gyoza in the shape of a face. We're just gonna insert... Tentacle machine. Till we get to the no repeat rate. Splatoon Vogue. Hopefully we'll get we'll get deals. Bunny apples. Yes! I got I got a lucky. Oh I guess not. Hoping I get a lucky. Rice toy blocks. There we go. Come on! That we can do free time with. That was bubblegum. I wonder if Kokichi likes bubblegum. There's a cake. I mean, who doesn't like cake, right? I don't even know whether I'll be able to do this. Someone's student ID. Well, that... Wow. Okay. Ketchup. Wonder who likes ketchup in this group. Sukiyaki caramel... Perfect laser gun. Pattern music score. Lucky chance. Finally. Took it long enough. Workout close. Jeez. Cosmic blanket. I don't know if anybody would like that. Feelings of ham. Hello, beard gamer Laku. Welcome to the stream. I'm about to go have free time with Kokichi before I end. Non-alcoholic drink of immortality. Hand knit sweater. I'm sure Kokichi wouldn't like that. I'm sure Kokichi wouldn't want that either. Okay, cool. Alright, would you like to leave? Yes. 
have you been, though, Waku? It's good to see you. Alright, I need to find Kokichi. Where is he at? Alright, let's go. Assign him. He's in here. He's in the courtyard. Doing good, doing good. Just really like Kokichi, so we're gonna get his report card filled out first. Maybe. I'm gonna try. Okay. Get that off. Alright, Kokichi, where are you hiding? Where are you at, Kokichi? I want to talk to you. Said you were over here. In the courtyard. This is the courtyard. Where are you? Come on. It looks like a castle gate. What's past here? Okay, I guess I can't go there. Uh, it told me Kokichi was here in the courtyard. Gotta find them all. There they are. Well, that doesn't look like Kokichi. So is he inside a building? Shrine of Judgment? Why would anybody go in here? Yeah, I know. He's not in there. Trying to find Kokichi! Come on! I want my Kokichi! Okay. Is that, is that him? Oh. That's Gonta. Which I like Gunta too, but I want Kokichi more. Ravioli pasta? Impasta? Wait! What is this? Can I go in here? Ultimate Inventor Lab? It's locked. I guess I can't enter. Where are you at? What is this? This is... Heide Akamatsu's room? He's in the dormitory! He's in my- Why is he in my room? Why is he in my room? Do you know anything that will cheer me up, Pegasus? Not really. I mean, I'm trying to cheer you guys up by doing games like this and having fun with them. But that doesn't always help. And I understand that. Come on. Yay! Uh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm gonna live. Is Kokichi going to be okay? Maybe I should stay by his side. Yes. That's so mean. What? Are you here to offer your life as tribute for me, Kaide? Hello, Snatcher Kid! Hehehe, <laughs> don't worry. It'd be boring to kill you now, so I won't do anything of the sort. I spent some time trying to prevent Kokichi from doing anything stupid. Kokichi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kokichi a present? Definitely. I don't even know what he likes, but... We've got to make the drinker immortal. Or does it taste good? Made. Freeze-dried slice of cake sold to the public as space food. It's both healthy and vegetarian friendly. The skin is thick and a little tough. That looks like Makoto. A gun that makes an explosive sound when it's fully blown in part. Okay. That wick away sweat. With these, you can work out all day and still be comfortable. 
Alright, I'm gonna give him gum. Yes. Hmm. This is a pretty decent present, Kaide. Are you starting to get me now? <laughs> it feels good to know that you thought long and hard about what tribute to give me. <laughs> it's pretty strange that you would come talk to me, Kaide. Um. Whatever, I just felt like it. If you don't want to spend time with me, just say so. Uh... What? Why would I do that? I'd never turn down an invitation from you, Kaide. Mad. Kidding. That was a lie. <sighs> Jeez. I'm already exhausted. Maybe I shouldn't have reached out to Kokichi. Oh, man. Hey, don't take that tone with me. After all, it's your fault I'm mean to you. Huh? My fault. <laughs> because you've forgotten about me. Huh? Huh? Forgotten? Hmm. I can't bear it anymore. I haven't forgotten. I've been thinking about you this whole time. Are you lying again? I don't want to say are you lying again, because if he's being honest, that'll be bad. Hey. Wait a minute. I don't remember ever meeting you. That's so mean. So you did forget. You completely wiped me out of your memories. How could you be so heartless? I'm so devastated. Is Kokichi genuinely sad? Have I really forgotten about him? Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you help me jog my memory so I can remember you? You know? Like where we met or what was going on when we met? Stuff like that? Hmm. hmm. Let's see. We met... Yeah. Under hostile circumstances similar to this. Huh? Um... You sheltered me while I was on the run from my enemies. With your piano skills, you managed to raise enough money to fund my escape. But then I betrayed you. I sold you out to my enemies and you were swiftly killed. There is no freaking way any of that is true. Jeez. That was all a lie. It's a lie. Yep, it sure was. We met each other here. I can't believe you fell for that, Kaide. You're such a sucker. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, this is the sort of prank a kid who wants attention would pull. Well, yeah. You keep this up, and you just might be the first one who gets killed, you know. Stop it. Hey, Kokichi, some things are just best left unsaid. You know what I mean? Oh? Oh, you mad? Sorry, sorry. Then I won't say anything at all. Yay! I got a friendship fragment. After parting ways with Kokichi, I return to my room feeling very annoyed. Another free time? I still have some time before it's night time. What should I do? I don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Kokichi! Be my buddy! I like Kokichi too. Let's see. Where is he at, though? Oh, he's here. Okay, cool. I tried so hard to check your Discord, and I still arrived late. No worries, it's okay. I'm almost done, but I'm gonna finish my free time for the day. Which classroom was it? Was it this one? Free time. Oof, I love free time. There's my boy. You missed about two and a half hours. Hey, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go talk to Kokichi. But how have you been, Paul? It's good to see you. Okay, there's my Kokichi boy. Come here. Hey. Kaide, it's dangerous to wander alone, you know. Watch out! Kibo's standing right behind you with a knife. That was totally a lie. Should I spend time with Kokichi? Yes. Huh? Can it be? Were you thinking about killing me this whole time? <gasps> ah, someone help me! She's gonna kill me! Hi, Linkle! How have you been? I spent some time running after Kokichi. You seem to have fun being chased. 
Kokichi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kokichi a present? Definitely. I don't know if I have anything else he might like. Let's see. We've got... What is this? This looks fun. An extremely handy reacher grabber. Once you use it, you can't live without it. A replica of a laser gun. He would love this! Hmm. I kept refreshing YouTube for hours to try to make it to the stream. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I guess this isn't that boring. You have pretty good taste, Kaede. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Kaede. The super plushy bros quit YouTube months ago. Aww. Hey, 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 Kaede, can you do me a favor? I already have a bad feeling about whatever this favor is. Don't worry. Don't give me that face. I wouldn't ask you to do something crazy like kill someone. Jeez. Kokichi, didn't I tell you before that some things are best left unsaid? My bad. Oh, sorry. I know I said I wouldn't say anything, but that was a lie, too. Um... Anyway, about this favor I need. Can you use your talent for me? Um... My talents? Yeah. Yeah. Will you, the ultimate pianist, work with me after we escape? Oh, but you'd work with me once you become the former ultimate pianist. Hey. What do you mean? See? After you graduate high school, you'll probably go on to represent Japan as a pianist, right? If that happens, you'll be flying all over the world for concert tours and stuff, right? Hmm. World tours as a pianist? Me? I don't know about that. Don't worry. Why? I know you could do it. And you would be so popular, too. Nope, nobody's died yet. That's why I want you to become an agent for my organization. Huh? Well, what the? Because? As a famous pianist, you'd be able to enter any country without arousing suspicion, yeah? You'd probably meet important figures from different countries, too. It'd be amazing. Jeez. I think your imagination is running wild, Kokichi. Uh... But I just know that'll happen, okay? So, Kaide, let's make a deal. Join my organization, and together we'll do as we please to all the stupid plebs in this world. I feel like this is a lie. Let's sit on top of the world and look down on everyone else. Well, probably, because I haven't even gotten enough fragments for him to actually want something with me. <laughs> and if we just want to watch the world burn, that's fine, too. We'll light the whole thing up. Right? The ultimate supreme leader and the ultimate pianist joining forces sounds pretty sweet, huh? Jeez. What the hell are you talking about? Oh. Huh? Hey. You claim to be the supreme leader of some evil organization. But that's just a lie, isn't it? I mean, does this organization of yours even exist? <laughs> True. I am a liar. But you've fallen for my lies plenty of times. Why are you so certain this is another lie? Jeez. Why? Because it's common sense. There's no way your evil organization exists, and it's crazy to think you are some supreme leader. I joined too. Mm. Common sense, huh? Common sense, les sens commune, el sentindo, el sentindo, tido, commun, joshiki. So many words that mean common sense, but who decides which one is right? Why are you so sure that your idea of common sense is the right one? Um. Huh? Well, you know. The ultimate initiative chose me to receive the title of ultimate supreme leader. I'm the real deal, hand-picked by the government. What does your common sense think about that? Hmm. That's true, but... But... But you think I'm not a supreme leader, right? Because that's what your common sense says. Oh? It's funny. Is your common sense really so similar to everyone else's common sense? Is what you believe to be right, based on your common sense, also right for everyone else? Stop it. Stop screwing around. <laughs> Uh-oh, Kaede yelled at me. That's right. Uh, anyway, the ultimate initiative should have given you the title of ultimate liar. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it should have. I am a liar after all. You know I'm only saying this because I actually care about you. Right, Kaede? Oh my gosh, I did not expect voice acting on that. Wow. 
You can keep thinking like that. But don't come crying back to me when things don't go your way. Why is he already taught? What? Usually they don't give you the voice acting until you filled up the whole report card. Ah, uh, jeez. Mind your own business, and I refuse to be your agent. Uh... What a shame. He didn't sound too upset about that. How far is he willing to go just to mess with people? Kokichi's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. After parting ways with Kokichi, I returned to my room. See you later, Damien. We're gonna end after this. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy, Hick. So. As you can see, Monokid has had a little too much honey. I see. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. Hick. Now let's play darts. Monodam can be the dartboard. And let's go bowling. Monodam can be the ball. Yeah, but... By the way, which announcement were we making? Oh, the nighttime announcement. Hmm? What? Is it already that late? Then we should go to bed soon? And he's asleep. Sign. <sighs> it's already nighttime. At this rate, the time limit will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So, I won't give up. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady! First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her taste. And it's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade pro wrestling group. She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes, and you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating up each other, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart. Guess I'll have to thank Monokuna for it. Yeah, pretty much. Rise and shine or shine. We don't wanna. Monokid's kid's still asleep because he ate too much honey. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. It is 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. Monokuma with the dating gift tips, though. I know, right? Zoo. Jeez, Mono Kid really drank too much honey. How long is he gonna keep sleeping? Dot, dot, dot. Ah. Oh, by the way, Father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long. Farewell. Thanks for reminding us. We really didn't need that. Rude bears. The time limit ends tomorrow night. Shuichi is gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. If I ever get a girlfriend, thank you, Monokuma, for gift advice. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Uh. Oh, Shuichi, perfect timing. Is it Shuichi? Uh. Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something. But as soon as I answered the door. Monokuma's on the scene! Too bad, it's me! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. Jeez. Oh, well, what do you want? Hey, um... Ah, I figured I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Thrills, chills, kills. Now go to the ultimate pianist labs right away and compose a murderous melody. <laughs> A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? And another thing. So, um, are you gonna invite me inside for tea or what? Oh, jeez. No, of course not. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Jeez. 
Gosh, how annoying. Okay, we're gonna save here. We're gonna save here and we'll come back to this next week. Monokuma is the girlfriend. Yeah, we're gonna save here and then we'll come back next week. I'm excited because I think next week we're probably gonna see our first death. Um, but yes, this was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. I kind of still like Goodbye Despair better, but I'm really liking V3 and I really, really like Kokichi. For some odd reason, I really like Kokichi. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for now. We will have a Vlogmas coming out tomorrow, um, so be looking forward to that. But much love, everybody. Mwah! Go out there, go spread some love and positivity today because you never know who needs it. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time when my new Vlogmas comes out. Hope you guys are as excited as I am about that. Much love, guys, and I'll see all you guys later. Bye, everyone!